Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Uh, a warm greetings to each and every one of you. Uh, we warmly welcome you on behalf of apexonline.lk for the online awareness session uh, for the online IELTS preparation course conducted by Mr. Vansi Sera. Uh, we actually uh, extend, we would like to extend our appreciation and gratitude towards your presence today. Uh, first of all, I would like to give a brief introduction about apexonline.lk since there may be uh, newcomers to the system as well. So Apex, uh, when it comes to Apex, Apex has been in the education field for more than 20 years. We have been in the industry, educational industry uh, for more than 20 years, changing the uh, lives, lives of and the futures of the uh, Southerners for more than 20 years. Uh, first of all, actually, even uh, when uh, with our humble beginnings, we started as uh, a tuition provider for O-level and A-level students, but with uh, continuing our legacy, we could be the uh, first ever partner teaching center for the British Council, and we do provide the original course, original content uh, along with the British Council, and uh, uh, other than that, we could, uh, we could provide uh, other professional courses such as SEMA, and uh, a management of well renowned world renowned uh, management qualifications uh, for the down south uh, in uh, first ever history so uh, apart from being an educational provider for the o level and a level students we are in the uh, business of uh, enhancing the lives of down southerners with professional courses such as british council and sema and in here we are uh, changing the lifestyles of uh, students with the commencement top uh, online IELTS program uh, with the collaboration of Mr. Avantapi So uh, the, as I mentioned earlier, we are in the business, of, uh, we are the only teach, uh, partner teaching center for the British Council, uh, which provide the original course, the original lecture panel. So, uh, but this course, this IELTS course is uh, totally uh, a part totally different uh, from the British Council course, uh, uh, since uh, this is the uh, course which is conducted by Mr. Avantati Sera. Uh, so this will be conducted as 100% virtual course for all of you. Uh, and the other thing is uh, a very special uh, news, a good news for all of you, since all of you are waiting for do your IELTS exam. So we are in the process of making a, a new IELTS exam center in Matara. So that will be a really convenient and a good news for you all because you guys are uh, waiting to do your IELTS as soon as possible. And uh, actually we were like in down south, you can uh, with the huge rush and uh, the, with less possibilities, you couldn't find a, a a convenient exam center in Matara for computer delivered exams. So we are in the process of making a new exam center. So I think it will be a good news for you all since you are waiting to do your exams as soon as possible. So actually that's a, a story I want to tell you about the Apex and the, our new plans. Uh, so uh, when it comes to IELTS, uh, there's so much potential in Sri Lanka right now because uh, everyone is dreaming to migrate to another country with the situation in here, Sri Lanka right now. So there are so many courses, there are so many uh, institutes which provide IELTS, but as students, we do have so many questions and so many doubts when it comes to IELTS because of the uh, quality, the delivery and the proven results. So uh, when it comes to the IELTS uh, course, which is conducted by Mr. Avanda Cicera, we don't need to uh, think about those uh, questions because he has been in the industry, the IELTS industry specifically for more than 19 years. And he has proven, uh, he has uh, shown his result with more than uh, 7,000 students. So uh, Apex Online has been uh, we are introducing the new course as an online course, which is like more convenient for the students who are willing to do the online course like uh, during the evening session. Uh, so uh, basically, when I was uh, describing about Apex, we were uh, 
we were in the business uh, providing uh, education for the O level and A level student. And with the COVID outbreak in 2020, uh, we started our Apex Online Learning Platform, the virtual platform. We launched that in 2020, and uh, we are proudly saying that uh, we have been recognized and appreciated as the best e-learning platform in Sri Lanka uh, for 2020 and 2021 year for two, uh, for, uh, two consecutive years. So uh, we have been providing uh, education for students, online education uh, for the student island by for more than 20 students, for more than six, uh, with the panel of uh, more than 60 teachers. So uh, actually, this is not on, only limited to down south. Now we are in actually we have uh, we have elaborated our service, the educational service to uh, students who are uh, whole uh, who are living over in the nation. So uh, actually, this is the uh, first ever IL course, the online IL course we are providing. Uh, through the apexonline.lk. As I mentioned, uh, you know you don't need to have doubts about the uh, course since uh, you are in good hands with Mr. Cicera. So he has been in the business IELTS, uh, uh, he has been in the IELTS industry more than 19 years. Uh, he has proven results because he has a very uh, customized approach, a good teaching style and exam tips, the strategies which actually uh, make it easy for you to uh, to get your required scores for your uh, migration dream. Actually, IELTS be uh, is like a bridge which connects your potential and your dream. So, uh, as everyone is trying to get out of the country uh, with your migration plans, uh, everyone is in uh, everyone is interested about IELTS. Uh, even though some of the students have no idea about IELTS, they are willing to do IELTS. So you have, uh, through Apex Online you have now you have got the opportunity to, uh, to do the best IELTS online course. Uh, and thank you so much for listening. Uh, I would like to invite Mr. Tisera, Mr. Avanta Tisera, to you to do your introduction about the course. Okay, thanks, Nibuni. Thank you. So I hope you can hear me, everyone. Nipuni, you can hear me, right? Can you hear me, anyone? Yes. Yes, okay. Right, okay, thank you. Thank you for the introduction. And uh, yes, I'm also glad to, to uh, do this online course with the Apex online platform. Um, like she said, you know, I've been doing this for a long time, for 19 years, in fact. And especially since COVID, it was really helpful because uh, I could reach, because I'm, I'm based from Digambu and Kalambu. My, my physical classes are mainly in Kalambu and Digambu. Uh, but for many years, I've been teaching in those areas. But since 2020, March, um, of course, online became a very common platform. And since then, it was really great because I could reach so many students from any part of this country as well as globally as well. So been very successful over the last two, three years with lots of students in the online platform. And also come to specifically for online, I feel for IELTS, yes, online platform is really effective. But you need to have your commitment as students, you need to really involve actively. If you actively involve, you can learn a lot from online rather than coming to a physical class, right? Now in IELTS, yes, there are two versions of the exam, academic and general IELTS. And uh, the academic IELTS is mainly for student visas. If you plan to apply as a student uh, to Australia, New Zealand, UK, Canada, US, uh, any country like even Ireland, or, uh, Sweden and all that, Finland, you need to do academic IELTS, academic IELTS. If you plan to apply as a permanent resident or work permit, then you need to do general IELTS. So those are the two main parts of the IELTS exam, two versions in fact. Two versions are academic and general. If I share the screen, so I hope you can see this. Right, so yeah, so the two versions are general IELTS and academic IELTS, right? Now, there are four sections in IELTS, listening, reading, writing, speaking, right? So there are four sections 
listening, reading, writing, speaking. I'll show you in a bit. In general, IELTS also same four sections are there. Listening, reading, writing, speaking. Four sections are there. Now in listening and speaking are common for both academic and general. Listening section and speaking section, both are common for uh, academic and general, right? Give me, give me a second. Okay. And uh, the reading and writing are different from academic and general. Reading and writing are different from academic and general. So generally academic reading paper is a little difficult than the general reading paper. So overall, general IELTS is a little easier compared to academic. Right. If I show you now, if I go through this academic paper, uh, listening means like this. There are 40 questions in listening paper. So there are 40 questions in listening paper. So while listening to an audio, wearing headphones, headset in the exam center, you need to write these answers one by one. 40 questions are there overall. So there's no time control here because you are listening to the audio track. So while listening, you are writing these answers one by one, usually half an hour, roughly half an hour. And general paper also same thing. In general IELTS also same listening. There's no difference. So both academic general, you are doing the same listening and uh, you're listening to an audio and you are writing answers one by one. Now these are sample papers. So I'm teaching using these papers. In the exam, of course, you don't get this paper. You get this paper, it's great, right? I mean, it won't happen. So you will get similar papers, similar papers. So if you do well with these papers in the exam also, you can get a good score. So I hope you understand that is listening. So that is the first section, general, academic. Both are having this A1 mean academic, G1 mean general. Both are having same uh, listening paper. Then reading part, second section. In academic reading, it's little difficult, academic. As you can see, in academic reading paper, there are three passages, passage one, passage two, passage three, and there are 40 questions again. And you are given one minute to do that. See, 20 minutes, passage one, questions one to 14. So this is passage one, one to 14, and this is passage two. Another 20 minutes, 15 to 26. So basically you need to read the passage and try to find these answers one by one, right? And then reading passage three also, another reading passage, 20 minutes, 27 to 40. So overall, there are three passages, 40 questions, Within one hour, you need to do it. So that is academic. Now in general IELTS, yes, same thing, one hour, 40 questions, but much easier if you can notice. Already you can see, right? It's pretty easy. See, the, the first questions, first seven questions are this, from this one page, you know, with little detail here. And then eight to 14, these questions are based on this one page. See, the material is a little simple. There's no, there are no bigger passages See, from this one page information, these questions. So the first 27 questions are a little easy in general paper. The last 13, little similar to academic, but again, the material is little simpler than the academic paper. But yes, the last 13, little similar to academic, little bigger passage, two pages, and you are given 28 to 40 questions. So here also, like the academic paper, you have 40 questions, that's the academic paper, right? Like the academic paper, in general paper also, there are 40 questions, but from little easier material. But the same approach, one hour, 40 questions, read the questions, find the answer. That's what you need to do. So that is general reading. This is academic reading. Then comes third section, academic writing. You have a task one, 20 minutes, 150 words, report. Usually you are given like numbers, maps, diagram, some sort of an image, right? Some sort of a um, statistical information given. And you're supposed to write a report based on this 
150 words minimum within 20 minutes and then task 2 40 minutes essay question 250 word essay so that's what you need to do in in writing academic writing in general writing task 1 is letter see 20 minutes 150 words minimum a letter a letter should be written essay little similar 40 minutes 250 words essay so academic general essay can be sort of similar similar approach task one different general paper letter academic paper report right so 20 minutes 150 40 minutes 250 words general paper also same thing later 20 minutes 150 words 40 minutes minimum 250 words and the final section speaking similar like the listening paper speaking also same academic general both speaking are same like this it's the easiest part in the exam a 10 minutes interview you go to the speaking room with, in the exam center and you talk to the examiner or you have a video call with the examiner 10 minutes interview. Examine, ask question. You keep talking for 10 minutes, and that's about it. So briefly, that is that is what IELTS mean. I just want to give like a brief introduction. So there are four sections: listening, reading, writing, speaking. So listening and uh, speaking same for both academic and reading. Uh, reading and writing little different from academic and general, right? So how the marks are given every section you are given out of nine out of nine out of nine out of nine. every section you are given out of nine 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 and average also given out of nine now most students for academic student visa most students need six point average six point each six uh, each average six point each 5.5 for student visa Sometimes for masters and all that, average 6.5 each six. So if you want to get that score, you should get two 6.5, two six, then average will be 6.5. Sometimes for PR purposes and work permit, you need each six. I make a six, each six. Then average doesn't matter. You need everything six or everything seven. So average also given, each also given separately. So that's how the marks are given, right? So, and what I do in my sessions, in my physical classes, and of course online classes, every day in every session, around two, two and a half hour session, I go through this one paper. For example, a complete paper, I go through this paper. I explain how to do the reading. I'll, I'll do a reading passage with you. I'll be, I'll be sharing the screen like this. Um, and I show because I, I'm sending this material beforehand, before you join now. We plan to do the the online class every Monday, eight o'clock. So probably by uh, three, four days before even. Uh, three days before we can send you the paper, particular paper like this, a paper that we do. Then I'll I'll advise what passage you need to do. You can do the entire paper, but specifically I'll tell which one you need to do. For example, you can do passage uh, number three this passage 20 minutes then i'll be explaining how to find these answers sharing the screen i'm showing you how to read how to find the answers and then you need to practice with that approach listening also i'll be showing how to do that i'll send the youtube link with the audio material so you can listen to the audio material at home do the paper and writing also very specifically i explain how to write the essays with structures and with formats so you can memorize seeing them, how to write those essays and letters and reports. Speaking also, I'll explain how to do this interview, tips and all that. And then you can practice with me too uh, during normal hours, fixing a time with me um, or the phone or online platform. So, but, but most of the students are okay with speaking, but if you have a problem, of course, you can talk to me. So during a session, we go through an entire paper. Then you should do the paper at home, send me the writing you know, through this uh, online platform. You can submit like assignment, your writings. Um, and then I'll go through them. I'll give you a score. 
then you can even call me directly or through this platform, you can connect to me and you can ask individual feedback as well. So that's the only way to do this, right? Through the papers, there's no other way because I know there are some classes, so some approaches like, you know, studying grammar, English and all that, studying more of a theoretical side of this, but that's actually wasting time because there's no theory in ILTS. ILTS is a skill. So from, from the first day, you need to practice with the papers. When you practice with the papers, of course, you will improve your grammar, you will improve your this uh, spellings and an English language, of course, you will improve those when you practice. But it has to be with the papers. There's no other way. Because from, from these papers, you know how many you get correct. For example, for listening out of 40, if you get 27, that is six point. If you get 32, that is seven. So when you do the papers, you know what is your level. And if you don't have the level, you know where to, like what level you need to improve. Same thing with the writing. When I give you marks, you know what is your um, score and what you need to do to improve your level. So that's why I've been doing this for, like she said, 19 years now. Always I've been using papers. And those are very successful because from the first day, I and you, we both know what's the level and what should be done. And, and the thing is, the most important thing is in the exam day, you should be very comfortable, very familiar with this, right? So now today I'm introducing you. This may be most of you know the format. If you don't know, you are seeing for the first time. And that's it. This is the structure, nothing else, right? So imagine you are doing this like 10 times, 15 times. You are doing 20 papers, 25 papers. You are getting my feedback. Then you'll be very much ready to do the exam, right? So that's the approach. Okay, so those are the basic things. I'll, I'll explain more if you want. So you can ask me any questions, anyone, about anything I mentioned about the exam or about any sections, anything that, that you have a doubt. Anyone, any questions? You can even message in the message box so you can speak up. No questions? Okay, so um, how to do the exam? There's a one message. How long is this course? Well, usually I do 10 sessions, uh, Asma, right? Yes, I do 10 sessions, like 10 papers. I do have 10 papers like this, you know? So I like one day I'm doing one paper. So you should do the work next week, another paper. So there are 10 minimum sessions, but you know, I do help students. Some students need more sessions. And of course I provide, I help them. There are some students, they need only uh, maybe three, four sessions only sometimes because they get really comfortable. They, they know their level with four five maximum, they do very well. Sometimes uh, I'm doing online classes for now, like I said, for three years. Sometimes I, I haven't even spoken with students but they just send me the results after three, four weeks because they have gone through all the papers material and they got 6.5 or seven. So usually I, I provide 10 sessions, you know, 10 sessions, but it's all depending on your level. For some of you, um, five, six might be enough. Some of you might need that complete 10 and some of you might need even more. So we will provide the support. I mean, we have a fixed 10 day, but we can even support the extra sessions without charging anything. Because uh, my approach is somehow to help you to get the score because now IELTS exam fee of course increased now 65,000, you know, it was 50,000 like month ago, six months ago, it was 38,000. So within one year, it has basically doubled 65,000 rupees British Council or ID, both places. So um, so you don't want to risk it, you know, you are spending a large amount, 65,000 for the exam, not for us, I'm talking about the exam. Uh, the class, fee, I think we, we, we will charge probably 20,000 for the, for the classes. So that is the only amount for the class fees, but the exam is 65. So you don't have to, uh, you don't want to risk it. So you have to make sure, and that's the other thing, you know, some of you, I know you are good in English. 
some of you think you can do it by by yourself you can actually most of you can but the thing is you don't know right you don't know what to expect you don't know your marks especially for writing you haven't got it evaluated then you are risking it because if you get even 0.5 below let's say your requirement is 6 point for writing you get 5.5 you get only 5.5 so you have to pay 65000 rupees again and do the exam again so that's the value of coming to a class you know so then when you come to class you, you are ready you know exactly what's you going to happen no 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 if you do academic it's only valid for student visa if you want to apply for immigration it has to be general however if you are a nurse doctor accountant for australia there are certain categories academic also accepted for the work permit pr but generally uh, academic is only for student um general is for work permit and pr and the thing with pr and uh, all that is you need that now, remember i told you earlier general paper is easy compared to academic general paper is easy but the thing is for these pr applications you need like really high scores seven each eight each so even though general paper is a little easier obtaining that high, really high scores are very difficult now the academic paper is difficult but for apply for student visa you need only 6 or 6.5 so that is also difficult but not impossible you know there are there are things and i i we do consulting also like student visa and all that so i know about canada and uk as well so those things also you can ask me i mean as a help also i help because there are so many students misguided you know with the agents and all that uh, charging serious amount of money uh, because to be or not to be negative to be really honest these are not easy if you, if you think you can do ielts like this get the visa next month and you can go to canada australia it will never happen it's a very difficult process to be honest not impossible difficult process you don't have to spend so much money you have to spend certain amount of money for for the exams and all that but you should know exactly what you need to do so ielts selection now when i get calls i get lots of calls from students every day so when i get calls my i i'll ask the questions you know what, your age and your background and i'll give advice okay depending your situation i think the best thing is a student visa or pr or work permit and then i'll advise you know what to do how to do this so that that also you can get from me apart from me you know i have to use so so back to the teaching again like i said i the other thing is i myself you know i do the ielts exam every 2 3 years i've got eight each twice uh, for ielts that's a very difficult score because i always believe as a teacher should do ielts you should have done ielts then then you know what you are doing what you are teaching students especially if you want to get really high scores and uh, that's the other thing, because i'm using certain especially for writing i have two structures that i have created only two only two structures and by doing but through them easily you can uh, like for example this kind of i'll just show you like for example like this now this is one structure during the classes we explaining these so here basically uh i'm showing i hope you can see my screen so this is this is your writing structure 250 words so this is your first sentence this is your second sentence this is your next i mean the second paragraph this is this point and these are the three sentences you need to write so like that i'm i have fixed two structures so um by using those structures you can sort of memorize how to write them you can memorize how to write them and it becomes easy for you in the exam especially if you need seven and all so like that there are very practical things i do all with papers you know everything i mean grammar spellings also will be checked when i check your writing homeworks i'll be checking your grammar and spelling of course but through that i'm giving you marks i'm not teaching grammar lessons but i'm i'm correcting your grammar if you call me over the phone or through the platform you can ask any questions i can tell okay this grammar is wrong this spelling is wrong so by by doing the papers you are improving
And also to get six point score, even with like 10 mistakes, even with 10, 15 mistakes, you can get a six point. Now to get seven point, it has to be perfect. But like I said, most of you need six point on. Then, uh, so th that's the thing. So even with mistakes, you can do, right? So those are the practical ways I do that. So, um, and, and most of this approach is actually common sense, you know, common sense. But the thing is, you need someone to guide you, someone to say it in a very proven way, positive way. So you know whatever you are doing is correct. Because I've seen a lot of students come into my classes sometimes having done the exam before. They could have easily got good marks, but they didn't because they didn't follow the right method. So especially for writing and reading, usually uh, when I compare the scores, usually the difficult part is writing and reading. Easy sections are listening and speaking. Most students get good marks for listening and speaking. Most get low marks for reading and writing. Right. So especially, so I focus, usually my online session is two hours, two and a half hours. Uh, we'll be discussing reading for like 45 minutes, writing also 45 minutes. So more than 80, 70% of the time is spent on those two. Listening and speaking, of course we do, but more emphasis is given on speaking and writing. And, and like I said, physical, the difference between physical and online, I think online class is definitely effective for you all. Like, because you are seeing it, like you are seeing the paper, me, and also at home, you are relaxed. You don't have to come anywhere, spending money and waste your time at home, but you need to focus. You have to focus. If you just log in and if you don't pay attention to what I'm saying, and if you don't do the homework, then it's difficult. If you pay attention, if you go through the papers, do exactly what I'm telling you to do, send me your homework easily this can be done easily especially for writing also like i said when i share the screen with the structures you you clearly see that you can make notes and then you can ask any questions anytime because usually i answer the phone calls anytime sometimes i might not answer when you call but if there's a missed call within five six hours i'll reply within the day somehow i'll or, or I'll send a message so therefore, you can always connect to me or any team member in Apex also if you want to get more advice about the login and about the class material, but about the teaching and all that. You can connect them, but they'll connect the, you to me or even you can directly call me as well. So that, that direct communication is very important uh, because I always, like even in my other classes too, I always connect. I do have a team help me. Uh, Apex, of, of course, helping will, will help me. Uh, I personally also have a team, but always I make sure I talk to the students. So, and also I'm the one who's teaching every time. Everything is done through me. There's no one else. There's no assistant. There's no other teachers. Everything is done through me. It's difficult sometimes, but somehow I manage that. But uh, that's the thing. And, and the other thing is about writing and speaking. If I give scores, when you talk to me over the phone or face to face, I mean, through, through the video platform, or when you send me the writing, uh, I give you a score. I'll tell whether it's 6.0 or 5.0. And that is your score. Because from experience, I know. From experience, I know exactly the moment I see your writing, this is 5.5 or 6 or 6.5 or 7. So then I'll tell what you need to do to improve that level. So, yeah, basically, I can pretty much predict your score too. I mean, I, I, I'm not saying every time I'm 100% right, but I can give a very good rough idea. What is your exam score going to be? Then uh, when you are ready, in British Council now, like uh, Tony mentioned, so in future, you can do the exam at British Council too, uh, in Mathur. So, uh, so they can book the exam for you. And you can do the exam there. There are two versions, like I said, computer-based and paper-based. Maybe I didn't say that. There are two versions of the exam too. Now, academic, general, two types of exam. And there are two versions also, uh, computer-based and paper-based. Computer-based and paper-based exams are there. So paper-based means this particular paper will be given as a paper, like hard paper. So you are going to the exam center. So in Martha, for example, in Apex, in future, you go there, exam center. You sit down and you do the paper. 
listening, reading, writing together, speaking interview, of course. Online mean, computer-based, not online, computer-based mean. You go to the exam center, you can't do from home. Go to the exam center and then uh, with the computers there, you are doing the exam online through the computer like this. So both are fine, but I, I, I sort of prefer paper-based actually, but online computer-based also not bad. But um, I feel sometimes paper-based is a little better, especially with the reading. You know, I can, I can make notes using pencil on paper, but computer-based. So if you, are, if you are very comfortable using computer and comfortable with the computer-based exams, that is also fine. So two, two versions are there. The results will be released after two weeks, 13 days. If you do the exam, usually exam happens on a Saturday. So after two weeks, results will be released. Right? So you'll get the certificate from British Council to your home through post, post. And that can be used for two years. The results are valid for two years. So that's about it. So any more questions, anyone? Ask me, even, even in Sinhala, you ask questions. Any, any question if you have, ask me. I'll explain about the classes, class, Ganahari, exam, Karana, Hati, Hari. Any question? No questions. So if you join the classes so next uh, next Monday, next Monday we plan to begin the sessions at eight o'clock. So um, if you join the classes straight away, you can you know start with the papers and you know get the get the preparation done. I Plan Karana because now, for example, then if you apply for Canada September day, you need to apply for admission even now. What happened? Godakkala, when most of you, you guys, uh, you like you you take time, you talk to agents and all that, and finally you decide, okay, then I want to do IELTS, and then you book the exam. That is the worst thing you should do without any classes, any preparation. You book the exam. Right, then, then you have like what one week, two weeks to do the exam. That will that will won't be very practical. So even you you haven't decided where to go, what country to go, you know, you haven't really made up your mind. Start with the classes, right? Then then you know this. You are always because sometimes I see in my classes students, they do the exam after two three months. Even. After they start class with me, they ended the classes also, but they call me again, sir, can I have some other, uh, like, you know, quick chat with me, says, can I send some messages? I'm like, okay, of course, because they're doing the exam a little later, but they already know about the exam because they did the classes and they know they were practicing at home. Because I always feel the ones who, who have at least two, three, two, three months for preparation, always do. It is a kalimma prepare them not. Exam make a kamati daosaka karanda pulwanda. No, there are fixed days in British Council. Uh, usually, there are two exams every month, paper based. Paper based, there are two exams every month. Computer based, I think there are lots of exams. Uh, I think Goal, Mathara, already there are. Mathara, no, Apex will do soon. Kalamu, of course, there. So, if you go to British Council website, AK Thoraganda Pulwanda, it is tech center, dates, and all that. So around two, three exams per month, paper based. Computer based, there are many exams. Are results valid for two years? Yes. Results valid for two years. Aru Deha valid. Evening, evening, 8 p.m. Manula or Manula. We plan to do Monday, 8 p.m. I do all my online classes uh, night time. He's in lazy in it. I'm also at home, you are at home. And I, I select eight point because if you work, hopefully by eight o'clock. You know, you you have come you come to your house hopefully. So we plan to do eight to ten. Eight to ten thirty maybe. Yeah. So what's about UKBI? 
Yes, UKVI, a good question. UKVI means, uh, good that you asked, I forgot that. Eh? UKVI mean exactly same IELTS, may make a matama, this IELTS, this paper. Only thing is, when you book the exam, you have to book UKVI IELTS, and you have to pay a little more also, I think 15,000 or 10,000 more than the normal price. And, and the difference is, the exam center is video, when you do the exam, exam hall will be videotaped. That's the only difference. Now, in a normal IELTS, you go to the exam center, you sit down, you do the paper, paper current, right? And no videotaping, nothing. In UKVI, the exam hall will be like CCTV camera, uh, video. For that, we are paying them 15,000 more. <laughs> but if your requirement is UKVI, you have to do UKVI. So, but the paper is same. Academic UKVI, general UKVI, may pay pay So, as a class, you don't have to worry about UKVI, but when you book the exam, you have to book UKVI only. Uh, we plan to charge 20,000, I think. Yes, for this course, I'll charge 20,000 for the entire course. Only 20,000. So, 10 sessions will be there. Uh, but you can even get extra help if you want, you know, directly from me. And also payment wise, I think I spoke with Keith before too. Maybe you can, like, you don't have to pay to me if you want. You can pay like 6,000, Muling 6,000 Gevala. You can join like one or two sessions and you can uh, pay the balance after that. That is also fine. So, anything else? Anybody, any questions? Because usually I don't do these free sessions, to be honest. And because, you know, I've been doing this for many years and Students are there, so I, I do classes only. And since I know Apex and I, I talk with them, they ask me to do this, so that's what I'm doing. So ask me any. When you start the new batch? No, that, yeah, also very good question. Thank you for asking that. Then, may then the way I'm doing these classes throughout you know all these years, I never had batches. I don't do batches. What I do every day, I'm doing a new paper. Of example, that the A1 mean next Monday, I'm, do, I'm doing this paper. So the advantage is you can join at any time. Order and hour to join when the because every day I'm doing a new paper. So it's a rotation. So for example, that if you join on the A1 day, so you are doing one, two, three, four, up to ten. If you join on two, whenever I'm doing module two, first day will be two, but then it will go two, three, four, five, nine, and one. So it's a rotation, you know. So anyone can join at any time. Every day I, I do from the fresh beginning, I'm explaining the paper. What happened when you come to more sessions, you get used to it. Okay, then. Like I said earlier, there are once within five, six sessions, they are done, they know what to do. So that's what I do. So there's no beginning or ending. You guys can join at any time you want. So any Monday you can join, basically. Right. So you can even share with your friends, anybody. Anybody can join at any time. And, and we probably then, I'm planning to start on Monday, so we might even have another day maybe, because initially I'll be doing academic general together, because only reading is, sorry, only writing task one is different, and reading also a little different. So, but I'll explain them in a more similar way. So at, at first I plan to do both together. But in future, maybe I can even break down to academic general also. But in, in one session also, we can break down. So those things will advise. But without any, any difficult for you all, I'll be explaining everything one by one. And also, I do have my Facebook page also, uh, Proven IELTS with Avanta. Maybe some of you know me, maybe you don't. So you can go to, go to that Facebook page uh, and, and see the student results and all that all the comments of students, you know, over the years. So, I mean, to be honest, you know, like, you know, this is a business, you know, teaching and all that money is part of this, we know that. But the thing is teaching has to be teaching too. I'm, I'm all school teaching, you know, I'm not like this, uh, everything for money and hours and all that. Money is a part of this, but there's a something about teaching, you know, so we have to teach, we need to understand. So that's the approach I take and also, like uh, Nipunu mentioned earlier, this is a huge thing in your life now, right? 
because migrating, leaving country, you know, I mean, these are serious things now. So this is the first step. So I know whenever you, you join the classes, you are not joining IELTS, you are actually starting a very serious process. Take a part, take a IELTS. So then I know how serious these things are. So therefore you can get genuine help from us because we, we know how valuable this is for you. And also genuine feedback here in MMS. Sometimes I, I see students talking to me, they say they need seven, right? From the first day I know it's difficult. It's very difficult. Take a monkey. I'm not like sugar coating, ugolang, butter, gala, shape karam. Like, I mean, if I know your level is six point maximum, I'll tell this is your level. But that is that is very helpful to you. Mother, because most of the others don't say that. They say, okay, pay the fees, join the class, you'll get marks, eight, seven, magic, have a magic in net. That will never happen. Right. So what I what I advise, like I said, I, I've been in I've, I've lived in US for seven years. I was in Canada for some times, and I also studied US. So I know the process. I've I've i know the PR process. I know the student visa process, and what the problems that you will experience there. So come to I'm in Sri Lanka. Also have a degree in Open University. So local education also. I'm a part of it. Foreign education also. I know, and I have done IELTS. So, Komatika, you know, visa also, all the visa applications, those things also I have done. So, um, and I know most of the people in the industry too, in Colombo, most of the agents and all that, I know them, they know me as well. So, good luck in and out, I know. I think most of the people are genuine. I'm not saying there are, you know, issues, but I've seen are purely for money, wrong advice as are given. Where are the advice like a dealer? So, good luck. May you are in, not in the right place, you know. Your level is six point, but you are thinking about seven and eight, and you are spending so much money and time on that. But for six point, there might be a very good option for you. Like the some of the students I meet, always in a PR, PR, PR. But to get PR in Canada, Australia, you need seven eight, which is very difficult to get. But you are twenty nine, you have a degree, so why don't you apply as a student, right? Take it in our student visa, for example, the Canada student visa, there's a huge benefit. As spouse can work, children can go to school. So lots of benefits are there. Some of you don't know, and some of you think, no, no, that is that is difficult, that is easy. Uh, we should try PR. No, getting student visa also difficult. Right? Remember, I told you, make kisi there place in it. If somebody say passing IELT is very easy, getting visa is very easy, you have to work hard for that. You know, if you work hard, you can of course get it. And even for younger, if there are very young students here, so go learn to make Dalai, O level, A level students in Dalai. Because as soon as you finish your A levels, like I said, immediately apply the run all. But if you have time, if you have a gap between A levels and applying for visa, visa rejection chances are high already. But they are telling why you have a gap, gap take up to. Think the moment you, you finish your A-level exam or O-level, don't wait until the results come. Prepare for IELTS, have it done. Then the moment you get the results, immediately you can apply. Apply to program, I think within one day, everything is done. I see a lot of students like, you know, if they are 21, they come to my class for the first time, but they have done A-levels two years ago. So the IELTS, Kerala, when you apply, when you get the offer, when you're applying for the visa, 22. Sometimes reject, you know, there's a gap, you know. Then it's for young people also, if you plan to do something, to go to a foreign country, immediately, right? So that's what you need to do. Lifetime valid results in exam, the IEL, lifetime number, you know, IELT is only two years. Hmm? Exams, I don't know. There's only a few exams IELT, SPT, Dwelling Go, the TOEFL. There are a few exams. Uh, check your English level for visa purposes. But Hammer them are two years, only two years. Can a doctor migrate to Australia? Yeah, yeah. Australia, Sri Lanka, and MBBS, Puluan. But you know, for doctors, also seven each. Seven niche on academic IELTS, very difficult, but not impossible if you work hard, come to classes, 
definitely you can get there but uh, yes australia australian uk for doctors australia uk possible for canada and us not possible for as a doctor because their approach and our medical you know things are a little different but you can go as a student for sure okay so any questions anyone classes gana mon hari ahan onna ithin mata den ma explain keruwa so i hope you understood and like i said during the session me wage full paper ekak kawata thana ithin more papers you do uh, you can do the exam so nipuni any question or anything uh, mr avanti we got one question in the chat box uh, regarding the score required for nurses whether it uh, they yeah. do ஜெனரல் <laughs> so a lot of nurses try that but if you get 7 each or 7 and writing 6.5 you can apply for nursing also. and that is academic you should nursing doctors mean academic thank you for the clarification mr avanta uh seems like there are no more questions mm, yes uh even for the schedule you mentioned that you will be doing the class during monday this time yes yeah monday 8 to 10 8 8 to 10 10 30 so that's the plan yeah if the students have any questions they can directly contact our call center it's open from uh, from 7:30 am to again 9:30 in the evening if you have any questions you can call our call center so there's no question so then maybe we can end this session i guess right so like nikuni mentioned yeah please call apex and get the help and they can probably connect me also if it's to if you want so somehow get the details get the information so i hope uh, we can we can you know we can meet on next monday during the session right thank you so much um tamanta uh, if the students have any questions regarding uh, their enrollments and how to join whether they can join from any vial uh, you can contact our call center uh, regarding any uh, question regarding the uh, the course and again thank you so much for your time If you have any questions regarding the time schedule and the payment plan you can contact our call center uh, since uh, most of the students are in the uh, platform itself you uh, you are you are know that you're familiar with our call center number so we can ring and uh, check the information regarding the call and thank you so much we have available time uh, i hope everyone will get your uh, required score and all the very best and uh, if you if anyone is not aware about the contact center number uh, you can note down it it's note seven note table 2 955 again there's one more number uh, he's uh, namidu vijay ratna currently working as il coordinator uh, you can note down that number as well that note seven note 6 note seven note 6 150 150 apart from our call center number which is note seven note 22935 uh, 
you can use this number as well. That's uh, note seven, note six, one five zero, one five zero. Thank you so much, and a very good night for you all.